What are you doing out there, all you back cave dwellers? You don't want no bass player coming at you. A buddy of mine dropped off a Bentley guitar. Wasn't working. Let me take a look at it. Normally I, I don't do this, but since I knew the guy, I'd take a look at it. And it had nothing coming out of it whatsoever. No sound, no buzz, nothing. So I'm gonna have to tear it apart and see what's in it. But the best I could tell on them, they were started by a company like SLM, St. Louis Music Company. And it was my understanding they were to compete against the Alvarez cheaper guitars. And they were made somewhere between 1983, 1998. And they started changing the company around, eliminated the Bentley electric guitars and started, kept the name on acoustics. I can't remember what they changed the name to. I'll see if I can find out, but they, they actually changed the name of the guitar and continue to produce them under another name. So I'm going to tear this part and see if I can see what's going on and see how that works out for me. Well, I believe the, the name that they changed it to was Austin Guitars for the electric guitars. But here's what the Bentley looks like. I put some backward bullet in the neck. It was pretty bad. It's come up. Looks pretty decent right now, but I have to string it up. But right now, there's nothing coming out of the pickups. I need the pickups. Nothing. It doesn't even buzz when I touch the grounds or anything. So, tear it apart and see what I can find out. I'm going to go ahead and take the screws out, get back with you, see how that works out for me. Well, I got it apart, and the first thing I noticed was the ground wire was loose, and the jack, the connectors had slid together, could have been shortened out right there, and there was no ground connected to the bridge. So I'm going to try to do that, solder that up, and see if that takes care of the situation. Maybe that could be an easy fix. See how that works out for me. Well, I got everything soldered up. I did that off camera because it took me a while. I put it back together. Still absolutely nothing. No sound. No matter where, what position the tar goes in, nothing's coming off of the pick up so I'm gonna have to go a little farther check out and see if I can see anything other than the ground wires that were off go from there and see how that works out for me okay one thing I noticed when I got back into it was that they've taken all the the pickups and they've kind of wrapped all the ground wires together and then they tried to ground them on one to potentiometer right here but what has happened for whatever reason this big hunk of solder is not hooked to the potentiometer i don't know if you can see it there or not but it's not grounded now that could be some of the trouble but i think i would have had a buzz even if that was the issue but i'm going to redo that take those out Maybe ground them on each one of the potentiometers and see what that does and see how that works out for me. All right, I got the soldering iron warm, warming up. Got this Q-tip here and some cleaning solution. I'm going to try to clean this off. Really nasty looking. Maybe I can get the solder to sweat a little tighter and stay. See, this ground here isn't even connected to anything. It's pulled loose from everything. This big hunk of solder right here is completely off of the potentiometer, so it's not grounded anything. 
So, see if this is warm enough. The first thing I better do is get rid of this cleaning fluid. I'll have it on top of my pool table workbench. Okay, we got that out of the way. See if the gun's hot enough. Okay. I gotta be careful so you don't melt any of the wires. And make sure that the wires all stay in the same spot. Okay, all right, that cleaned up pretty well, and I soldered it. If you look at it now, remember how loose it was. This one here wasn't even ground, wasn't even down, so it's now grounded also. Pretty tight, that cleaned it up. I'm going to put it back together now and see how that works out for me. I just got to make sure you get these wires in. And they get into the position. There's the ground that I put onto the bridge. Now these wires have to fit in between where it's rounded out so it'll lay flat onto the body. Now some of these holes were stripped out. They were too big and they people taking the screw in and out and in and out. Now this one here completely missed the body for some reason. So I'm going to try to fix it, but we'll, I don't know. But on the other ones, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a wood toothpick. Take the end of it. I'm going to dip it in glue. Just regular wood glue. Shove it down in the hole. And then just snap it off. And after it dries, I'll put this back on. And there may be a little piece of it sticking up, but it really won't matter. I'll just put the screw right through into it, and it'll take care of it. I'll try to get it as flush as I can, though, so I don't have to worry about that issue. So I'm going to get that done, put this back together, and see how that works out for me. Okay, I got the toothpicks in there. Bust them off, glue them in. Okay. I see one here if you can see it now right there you can see it you just see the top of that toothpick I can actually feel it but it's recessed in that cavity all the rest of them turned out pretty decent when I snapped them off I got her back together and I'm going to try to test on this is aluminum so it won't magnetize <clears throat> and I'm going to check the pickups by just tapping on the magnets and the reason I want to use this is because this won't magnetize and it shouldn't affect the polarity of the pickups if you use a magnet or something that magnetizes it could possibly change the polarity of the pickups so what I've got them on, I'll just tap them like this. I don't know if you can see it. So I got all the tones and volumes off right now. I'm tapping it. Now this first neck pickup should be on, so now I'm going to turn it up a little. You can hear it. Hear the tone. You can hear it changing. Okay, that's, that's doing good. Now I'll move it to the next position. Middle position. Last position. 
Should be good to go. Put some strings on it. See how that works out for me. Okay, I'm going to start putting the strings on. They may, they have these string winders. I'm sure you guys have all seen them. And they're okay. They do really good what they're for. But I had an old piece of plastic laying around here. So I drilled a hole in it. Tapped some threads in it. Put that on it. Took a drill and drilled that out. Now that will go into my drill like so. And I'll put it on the strings. And it's going to go either way. So I'm going to put these strings on and see how that works out for me. Now I got her all put together. I got her tuned up. Got the inclinations close as I can get them. See what it does. I've set the, tried to set it as close as I could for the instrument that it is. So on the first one, volume. That's what it is. That's how it turned out for a low-quality instrument, uh, considering the prices of the day, I guess. It doesn't sound half bad. Hope you like this short video. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you.